Okay, YouTube. So here we are once again with a common problem that we have with these uh, leveling valves. Now this is you know somewhat across the industry, uh, Volvo, Peterbilt, International, um, Kenworth, Sterling. Uh, they've all got issues with the leveling valves. Um, but generally speaking, it's this particular type of Haldex valve that has this issue. I'm sure others do too, but this is the one that um, I find the problem with quite a bit. So what we have um, is, is a, the complaint we get, driver calls, says, hey, you know, I'm going on a highway here. Uh, I'm so-and-so in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, and my airbags aren't coming up. You know, the truck was rumbling real bad, or I had driveline noise or shifting problems, whatever. Uh, so you have them check the airbags, and they're not up. All right, so... You have them looking at the truck and you make sure that the leveling rod, a uh, leveling arm control rod that goes down to the axle, uh, make sure that's still in place and the ends haven't cracked and fallen off because they are rubber. Um, and once that's been established, that that's in good condition or at the very least still connected. Um, the next step is uh, have them look at the leveling valve itself to verify that the leveling valve arm is is, is pointed you know, up. It, it can't be pointed down it can't be level. It's, or I guess it could be level, but it can't be pointed down. It has to be pointed up. If that's the case, um, you can walk them through the process of readjusting and reseating um, the uh, arm on the valve. Uh, and that's a short-term fix uh, because what you'll have, and I'll show it to you here in a second, uh, you have a collar with a couple of nubs um, that engage uh, a couple of holes in the arm and a, and a little nut that kind of secures it all. And what happens is um, those nubs wear, the arm moves, and it no longer engages the valve and actuates the valve spool. So... Um, what we're going to do is a temporary fix to get the unit back to your shop um, with a reasonable amount of time. I mean, this is a, a long-term sort of temporary fix. Um, but anyhow, let's get to it. Okay, so here's the valve we're talking about. This valve right here. This is our uh, uh, Haldex um, leveling valve. This is the collar that we're going to refer to here during this video. This is the nut also we will be referring to in the, during this video. Then you have this. This is the leveling valve arm. Um, you can't really refer to this as a linkage. You have to have separate names for these things when you're talking to a driver over the phone um, because if you don't um, you're going to get confused so we're going to call this the uh, uh, leveling valve arm and this will be the leveling valve linkage rod to the axle uh, or, the, or the leveling valve control rod to the axle um, and what you're going to do when you talk to the driver the first thing you have them check um, is to make sure a their dash dump valve is in the operate position or run position right b is going to be these are these rubber boots right here these boots are just soft rubber, right? They'll crack, they'll break. It's a little clamp right here, can fall off. Arm can come out of it. Same exact thing going on down there. Um, you know, I've had that bolt in there break off. I had the rubber break. I've had the clamp come off. These pull out, what have you. Um, and that's, that's somewhat normal. That's normal maintenance and wear and tear. But um, in any case, um, what we're going to deal with today is a collar like this one that will rotate um, without moving this arm. So uh, give me a second here, I'll set the camera up and we'll go through the procedure of diagnosing, resetting, and repairing this. Okay, so here we are. Pardon the poor camera angle here. I'm literally using wires, zip ties, and a torque rod um, to level the, or put the camera up here, my camera holder. So uh, what we have, and my camera is my phone. So what we have um, is we have a linkage rod that connects to the axle that is in good condition, it's not broken. Um, rubbers in place. Linkage or the leveling valve arm, this piece here, that's pointing up. All right, um, and then you can tell this is a little loose. This is pretty significant. Um, in fact, this is excessive. And I did this um, for, de for demonstrative purposes here, so that we can show what's going on. Ordinarily, it wouldn't be this loose. Um, if you look closely, there's four holes: one, two, three, and then four right here. Those four holes engage on four pins on this collar right here um, and those uh, are what break off right they wear down they slip off and then this whole thing begins to move without activating the actual valve and when that happens um, you don't have suspension air so um, because we don't want to take this rod off we don't want to get underneath the truck on the side of the road um, and be any more risky than we already are right dangerous um, we're not gonna get out the truck so what we got and they're still attached. All we're going to do is take a pair of pliers, you can use channel locks, you can use, um, you know, El Cheapo Walmart pliers, truck stop pliers, wherever you can get them, just a pair of pliers. Um, you're going to grab this collar right here. And that's, that's provided you can't do it by hand. Most cases, you'll be able to turn this by hand. So there's neutral right there, right? Bags are already down. You feel like a little lump, but 
So bags are already down. We turn this till we hear air coming in. Now, air's coming in. We're gonna watch it. What we're gonna see is this arm move. When that arm gets almost level or close to level with the ground, right? Just about like that. We're gonna turn this back straight. See, there's no air going in, there's no air coming out. That's where you want it. Now you take this little arm and you can feel it go back on its nubs, right? There's nubs in there that they're wore off, but you'll be able to feel them. And even if you can't, it doesn't really matter. So it's all done. You know, the, the arm is, is as close as you can get it. Now we're gonna need the pliers, right? Because you probably can't hold that collar and turn this nut. Um, you know, rust and whatnot. So you're holding that collar. This will be an 11 millimeter or 7 16 nut. And we're gonna tighten that nut up. Like I said, I took this apart to show this for this video. Um, so you ordinarily wouldn't have turned it anywhere near this far. And you certainly, under no circumstances, do you wanna get all Hercules with this nut. You know, you want it to just be snug and then a little more. And we're talking about a quarter inch stud that has probably no ASTM grade on it, or, or SAE grade on it, it's probably not very strong. So uh, that's all we're gonna do. Just, you know, snug and then a little more, and you're done. Now this collar won't move, the arm's back attached, suspension's up, down the road your driver goes. And in the meantime, you're not breaking U-joints. Those guys are spendy. All right, y'all have a good day.